Hello and welcome to our sixth step of Revit Architecture 2011 Getting Started Tutorial. We open our step six. In this step we want to create windows. We switch into the north side view. Select in our home tab, window. Now we have here on the right side a selection of windows, but we also can load windows from somewhere else. What we do is we look in our additional files folder, select the window variable. We place it somewhere on our facade. And here we got our blue triangles again. We can adjust our height and width of our window. What we want to do now is we deselect opening direction and casement. Now we're copying our window to the left side. And in our contextual tab, we select copy. Check if we have multiple activated and move it to the left once more. Here we go. So now we have our windows placed in our walls. We also want to have windows on the other side of our building. We close our view open our level 3 view and we use now the WT shortcut to tile our windows. We also use the set A to have a good view of our project. Now what we want to do is we select all three windows. In our contextual tab we select mirror pick axis and we select our C grid line. And we see in our 3D view, as well as in our level 3 view, that the windows have been created. Now we want to close our third level view. And we open our first level view. With all the views, WT. And adjust our view with set A. We move our project in the 3D view a little bit. In our home tab we click on stairs. Now we are in our edit mode and we want to draw our stairs. So we check if we have run activated. We click on edit type and look if we have steel stair MPK activated. Click on OK. Then we also put in desired number of steps 17. And we also like to set our railing type to class MPK. We change that. It's OK. So now we are ready to start our stairs. We click on the grid line 5, pull it to the right, and you see here that Revit counts our risers. After 10 rises, we click, and then we move a little bit up and go back again. Click on Finish. So here you can see our stair. Now we want to activate the section box. We have here some blue triangles which we can pull to get a good view. And now we want to make some adjustments on our stairs. We select our stair and put in multi-story top constraint level 5. So you see, now we get a staircase in every single floor. Now we just need a shaft, so we switch back in our level 1, we select shaft. And now we draw a rectangle. If we're done with that, we're now using the tool offset. We're putting in here a distance of 0 0.3 meters. And we check if we have copied the marked. we're done with that, we click the escape button and now we change our basement offset to zero, top constraint to level five. So now we are done, we click finish mode. And if we click somewhere else, we see that our shaft has been created. That's it for our sixth step and we hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back for more.